their main theories in psychology and conflict resolution is called game theory. So what game theory is basically founded upon is the concept that when people enter any, into any type of a conflict process, what they're trying to actually accomplish is some type of a payoff. So when two people walk away from conflict, they both want to be able to feel fulfilled that they have gained that payoff. So what may be a payoff for me may not necessarily be a payoff for you. So the reality is a good negotiation process will enable both parties to discuss what their intentions are and what is an actual payoff that will make them happy. So when you, um, looking back again at game theory, we also want to consider the two situations that could result. When you're looking at payoffs, there are two different scenarios. There is a scenario where you're looking at two competitive games. So these are the types of scenarios where there's two parties and there is one resource and both of the parties are fighting to res reserve their right for the same resource. That's called a competitive game. If you wanted to look at the whole movie of Hunger Games, especially the first one, you will realize that each of those competitors, or if you want to call them contenders of the Hunger Games, they were fighting for the same purpose, which was to become the first place winner. In that scenario, what is a win for me will mean a lose for you. So that is the outcome that's going to be expected from the beginning. The other type of game theory outcome could be the co called the cooperative game. And in this scenario, we're looking at a situation where both parties could come out winners. So let's go ahead and concentrate on the cooperative process because negotiation actually means when both parties enter the process, they're also expecting to come out both winners. So they're not necessarily competing, they're actually looking to gain cooperativeness and walk away feeling that they've been satisfied.